we made our way back to the Etihad Stadium to try out another Manchester City hospitality package. Part of this package did include an overnight stay in a hotel. So once we checked in, it was then a short journey to the stadium. And because we arrived about an hour before the hospitality lounge opened, we decided to have a look around the city store. A huge store with loads of merchandise, definitely could have done with one of these scarves. But instead we made our way back outside for a frame photo and a fist bump from this guy. As well as some carol singers. Not much of a singer, so decided to check out the map outside the front of the stadium. And then it was a short walk around the outside of the stadium and to a statue of Sergio Aguero's famous goal celebration. A bit more on this title winning moment in a short while. First, it was to entrance J where we scanned our e-tickets and made our way through the turnstiles. There was then a short walk upstairs or more accurately around a path and into the stadium following signs to the 9320 lounge and a bit more on the name later on. First up, a member of staff was on hand to give us a hospitality lanyard and we grabbed the match day program. Continued into the casual lounge, which does have unreserved seating. A good idea to arrive early because it does get busy and seats do go quickly. We then had some time to look around the lounge and like Man City versus Liverpool, it was Blues v Reds in the table football. After a convincing win for the Blues, it was then up to the paid bar to grab a drink. We went for a soft drink, but other drinks are available. And at the same time, decided to check out the different food lineups. A few options available, including Indian food through to burgers and Southeast Asian. Couldn't decide, so in the end, asked the staff for their recommendations and went for the Southeast Asian option, which did include salt and pepper fries and Korean barbecue chicken. Pay for the food, then made my way back to my table and gotta say, a big fan of the Korean chicken. Quite a few references to 9320, which was the time of that special Aguero goal, which won Man City the league. And there are a few quotes from former players. A bit like Balotelli got me wondering, why is it always me that never gets a go of the table tennis, which was a nice touch inside the lounge. In the end, I settled for a really comfy padded seat. Unusual to see these inside hospitality areas, but I could definitely get used to it. Not long to go until kickoff, so I made my way back to the bar where I grabbed a snack and a bovril. Would definitely recommend, especially for those colder winter fixtures. It was then out of the lounge, which does open again at half time and full time. Making sure to check our tickets along the way. Fortunately, there were staff pointing us in the right direction. And with about 10 to 15 minutes to go until the fixture versus Liverpool, we made our way up a few more steps and to another padded seat ready for the start of the match. Tickets are from 189 euros, including an overnight stay in a hotel, bought through Champions Travel. These were the prices for the 22-23 season and are dependent on the fixture. Make sure you stick around after full time because you might see a familiar face. And finally, a question for you guys. Where should we go for the next padded seat?